From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. It's almost time for the daily commute. Anatoly Popko grabs a coffee and says goodbye to his baby daughter. Now he enters the city's intimidating metro system. Once I exit the train, I have to listen carefully, and then I have to, you know, be real careful moving around. That takes courage, because Anatoly can't see. He's been blind since childhood. I have to dash from pillar to pillar to be as quick as I can. Twenty-nine-year-old Anatoly is one of the very few blind or disabled people to attempt to navigate the metro or even head out onto Moscow's streets. According to the United Nations, Russia's 13 million people with disabilities face not only physical barriers, like hard-to-access public transport and buildings, but also widespread prejudice and discrimination. Many are deprived of job opportunities. 90% of the nation's disabled people are unemployed. If you walk downtown Moscow, then you probably will not see any disabled person for hours, or maybe you will not see one at all. Historically, people in Russia with a range of disabilities were sent to institutions, like these blind children in the early 20th century. Here, children learned traditional skills, but their lives were strictly regimented. And today, the marginalization continues. The blind people who can find work often have no choice but to spend their working lives carrying out menial tasks like these employees assembling light bulbs at a factory in Moscow. T H I S this I S A. Anatoly believes that new technologies can help. Working for the All Russia Association of the Blind, he demonstrates this new voice recognition software, which enables users to harness the almost limitless information available on the internet. I'm, I'm going through the just emails that are in my inbox, 13, uh, 13 messages, messages altogether. Though when he writes, he can hear every letter he hits on his keyboard, and even his mistakes are corrected. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Anatoly's goal is to change Russia, not just for blind people, but for all people with disabilities. And there are signs that his wishes are starting to be fulfilled. Moscow has declared that it will be barrier-free by 2020, meaning that all public buildings and facilities should be easily accessible. And in 2008, the Russian Federation signed the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. For Anatoly, the birth of his new daughter, 10-month-old Polina, means new responsibility as a father and a new focus on the future. At heart, he hopes his daughter's life will be shaped by the same spirit as his own. Independence is something inside my head, pretty much. Next Because I feel myself independent, and that pretty much means that if I, I want to do something, then I can do it. <laughs> This report was produced by Francis Mead for the United Nations.